Hi, this is Dr. Michael Ruscio, and sadly, most patients who come to work with us at our clinic are still not feeling well, despite working with multiple doctors. But the good news here is that we are able to help the vast majority of patients by focusing on proven treatments in a one-at-a-time sequence in the correct order. And I'd like to share with you a short synopsis case study of a gal named Kathy, who was treated by Dr. Joe Mather at our office. She had Hashimoto's thyroiditis, yet despite months of different types of thyroid hormone combinations, she was still suffering from intense fatigue. However, once we focused on treating dysbiosis or imbalances in her gut with an herbal program, she immediately started to feel better. In her case, it appeared the problematic intestinal bacteria were triggering an autoimmune attack against her thyroid gland, and no amount of thyroid medication adjusting would have fixed this issue. Now, look at this graph of her TPO, or thyroid peroxidase antibodies. When this marker is over 500, it indicates ongoing damage against the thyroid gland and an autoimmune process that's not being controlled. Now, in Kathy's case, historically, it had fluctuated between 650 and 750 prior to the start of the herbal treatment plan in August of 2018, and then fell dramatically as her gut health improved. And the best part is she felt better immediately after starting the herbal plan. And there has been one paper published by an Italian group in treating H. pylori in the gut that did find it also led to reduction in antibodies. Not all the evidence supports this. It's something that we're still learning more about, but that was the finding at least according to this one case study and this one Italian paper. So I hope this quick review helps you better understand and appreciate the importance of gut health as it pertains to thyroid health and that a strategy of constant thyroid hormone adjustment or thyroid medication changes can be unsuccessful if a factor in the gut is overlooked. So if you need help or you'd like to learn more, please feel free to reach out to our office or visit ruscioinstitute.com.